Hmm, we gotta fix that. <sighs> Still not tall enough. That's what happens when you go on vacation and you forget your tripod, so you have to do a makeshift one. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new here. My name's Emma, I make videos, I post every Sunday at 8 o'clock, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, you should go down below and do that right now. Also, my Instagram name is in the description box below. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you're like, where is she right now? This isn't her normal background. You're right, if you thought that. I'm actually at the beach right now with my family, and I'm currently using my parents' bedroom because it has the best natural lighting here at the beach. Yeah. So I knew that I was gonna have to film a video this week and I didn't plan far enough ahead. Well, I did plan far enough ahead, but I was planning to film while we're at the beach. But I didn't bring my tripod. So we're on a makeshift tripod of a stool, three pillows, a medicine bottle, and a stack of cards all piled up. So if it falls down at some point during the video, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna be doing my five beach essentials for 2018. So let's just get on into it. So the first thing which will be pretty obvious for most people is sunscreen and lots of it. Now for me, I like to put two different types of sunscreen on my body during the summer time and especially at the beach. The first one would be my Neutrogena 100 SPF face sunscreen. I get really burnt all around my eye area and especially on my nose. So to have this is really good, especially for my face when I'm at the beach. And then the other sunscreen is my Sunbum 50 SPF uh, sunscreen. And I really like this one because I've never gotten burnt when I've been wearing this one. And it also smells amazing. It smells kind of like bananas and coconut a little bit. Yeah, it's like a very tropical scent. So if you've never smelled this sunscreen, then I suggest you hop over to, I guess Target has it, and just smell it because it smells amazing and then get it if you so desire. One of my top beach essentials that I must have when I'm at the beach is a cup for water. Rather than using a whole bunch of plastic bottles that I would usually do when we're at the beach because my family's weird about the way Florida water tastes, sorry if I'm offending you Floridians, but we just don't like the way it tastes. It tastes kind of weird and sulfury. So we usually buy plastic bottles and then I realized how absolutely horrible that is for the environment. So I started bringing my own cup that I can close or put a straw in and take down with me to the beach so sand doesn't get in it or anything and it also keeps my ice cold in here and it's also big enough so that I can put lemon in it or whatever fruit I'm feeling that day. So this is a great way to stay hydrated and have a good eco-friendly thing when you're at the beach. You know what I mean? I hope I'm making sense. Now my hair's a little bit wavy today, but you probably can't tell very much from it. But when I'm at the beach, I like to have beach waves in my hair. So usually when I get out of the pool or back from the ocean, I like to spray sea salt spray in it, which I know that that's not too good for your hair, but as long as I don't do it every day, I think I'm probably fine. But what I've been using for that is sun bum <laughs> sea salt spray, and I just put this all over my hair after I get back from the beach or the pool couple days of the week and it just gives it a nice texture. I don't have it in today so you can't really tell much from this but I'll put insert a clip in right now of where my hair was all beach wavy and beautiful and that was probably due to this sea salt spray. And no this video is not sponsored by Sunbum but hey hit me up if you want to sponsor me Sunbum. I love your products. I just genuinely really like these products and I think that they all smell amazing. So something else that's pretty obvious that I like to have at the beach is a good pair of sandals. Now I got these last year at Target and I just really like them because I think they're cute and dainty and they've got some cool straps on them and they're just a nice little thing to have when I'm at the beach. So yeah, sandals. Sticking with the theme of clothing, my last item that I must have when I'm at the beach is a good pair of high-waisted denim shorts. Now, I got these at Target, but I really like this pair of pants. They're just high-waisted denim shorts. I can throw them over a bikini, throw them over any sort of a t-shirt. They just make for a really cute outfit and great for the summertime. Also, if you want to find some really cute high-waisted ones, then I suggest looking at thrift stores because there are usually some vintage ones there and that'll be really cool and you'll have a cool little story to tell with it, hopefully. So that will be it for this video. If you liked it, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you're not. Also, like I said before, my Instagram name is in the description box below, so you should go check that out. You should do that because my Instagram theme is super cute and summery right now, so I'm very proud of it, and you guys should go check it out. And that's everything, so I will see you guys next Sunday at 8 o'clock. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.